Hey, 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 it's Mikey Mike. Hey, uh, we are here trying to recover from a bilateral knee replacement. That means I got both of my knees replaced at the same time and uh, I got it done on November 1st. Uh, today is what today is the 13th. So uh, post-op 12 days uh, from surgery. Uh, it was a little it was super it's tough. I'm telling you, it's not uh, it's, it's not any it's not it's nothing great, but um, It's amazing that you can stand up actually on your new knees day one So what I did is I got into the hospital uh, this went through Kaiser uh, in Lancaster Palmdale area in California uh, I got in at 10 in the morning uh, quick uh, note uh, if you have any mp3 players or headphones uh, to listen to music because it was a long wait between 10 and when I went to surgery about 1.30. And then, um, so it was good to keep your mind off of a lot of stuff and just listen to music and kind of chill because you're just getting fluids and things like that. Everything was really cool. Uh, had to do my COVID test prior to. Everything passed, everything was good. Uh, waited around till about one o'clock. They came and grabbed me and rolled me into the surgery room. Uh, had a spinal tap and um, uh, I had to have a vent tube because I was getting both knees done at the same time. The, uh, they put, also they did uh, like a, some sort of a pain blocker in my left knee, uh, although the right knee was the first one they were doing. My right knee was the worst one, bone on bone. The left knee was almost there. It was really close, but it, they both really hurt bad. So, uh, went through surgery, no problem. Uh, they put me, so I made it through the, uh, the surgery, no problem. Uh, got the post-op uh, about six o'clock uh, for about six to nine I kind of just kind of recovered uh, in the recovery area and about nine o'clock I they got me up and uh, had me walk and I walked down the hall and back uh, with uh, the two new knees which amazingly I did okay uh, a little sweaty and lightheaded I got some ice bags on my neck and head and that worked out perfect made it back to the bed and uh, didn't think I was be going home that day but guess what uh, they booted me out at 1159 so I was in at 10 and out at 1159 so that was uh, I mean it is what it is and it was actually I thought it was gonna be okay to stay at the hospital but you know what due to COVID and all the other garbage that they got going on there they're understaffed and uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the best place to be so when I got home finally my brother picked me up and I uh, uh, got to sleep in my bed down oh, and it was a lot more comfortable than that uh, recovery room bed that's for sure so uh, made it through the night uh, uh, not a lot of sleep it hasn't been a lot of sleep for the last uh, 12 days 13 days uh, it's uh, it's been a little tough uh, I'll tell you, tell you some tr tips and tricks that I've kind of uh, helped me get through this uh, especially the for the first uh, few days uh, pain is manageable I think a uh, Percocet or something like that I'm doing a half a pill every three hours uh, to keep it kind of fresh, you know, and it works out good. And I'm standing here right now doing this video, and this is 12 days out, so it's doing okay. So uh, you got to have a good support system. My wife and brother, amazing, uh, like clockwork. Had my meds, had my had food for me, uh, changed sheets, did things like that I couldn't possibly do. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the the first uh, the first night was tough. Uh, second night was tough. Uh, but I was still I didn't know that I was like on a spinal block or something that I felt pretty good I was like wow, this is if this is how it's gonna be. That's not too bad Until about the third or fourth day and then the pain really hit and your legs start locking up So super, you know, make sure you're doing your exercises your PT Moving your legs moving walking doing whatever you can do get up go to the bathroom uh, During the evening at night. I use the little I'll call them cups. Uh, I, I use those two of those probably three would be the, the right amount uh, and I put them in a bucket um, and then in the morning I go to the, the restroom and walk to the restroom uh, through the evening it's not good so let you know let your helper sleep because that's gonna help you a lot so to get, get through the night that's the best thing to do the, so the next thing you want to do is uh, the, the other part I had a hard time with was my heels were rubbing raw because I was trying to adjust myself in my bed and I was trying to push back push back with my heels and I kind of rubbed my heels raw which oh that was brutal I had those hospital socks on with little traction things and that was tough so uh, maybe some like uh, silk sheets or super slippery sheets would help you uh, keep that from happening um, and what I also got is a bed trapeze a little trapeze thing that hangs over your bed to help me pull myself up and move and reposition so that helps in the middle of the night 
to get myself up to where I can use the restroom and then eventually you know getting out of bed as well so it took me about three days to get out of bed uh, by myself um, what I did is I used my uh, kind of an L-shaped cane and I hooked my foot and I was able to slide down to the end of the bed slide my foot over and hopefully I can show you a video of that uh, happening maybe I'll give you some tips or tricks um, made it out of the bed transition and I can finally about uh, seven days I think it took me to get back in by myself uh, easily I won't, won't call it easy but you know it's uh, loud screaming you know kind of thing so that worked out really well so uh, pain level goes from zero no, I'll say one to ten and that's the way it goes I mean it's like nothing for like right now pretty much nothing but when I start walking or bending or trying to get up or down those transitions it could be up to a ten it really hurts but that's progress, so make sure you're bending your knees and do and kind of keep moving all the time. Uh, that'll help you. So the uh, nothing is comfortable. Everything pisses you off. You have to. Uh, you're ir irritable about everything. Uh, just you know, crazy people that are helping you because uh, they're trying to you know put up with your butt. So and they're definitely put on my butt, and I appreciate that. So it's it's working out really well. Um, the last few nights, I'm finally able to, I'm, I'm not a back sleeper, my back broke out really bad. So I had some uh, like Benadryl or some of that anti-itch cream my wife's been put on my back that helped a lot uh, to keep me from itching. Uh, I had one of those little back scratchers and I just rubbed my back raw. And uh, yeah, that really sucked. So uh, in the bathroom, uh, I got one of the, and I'll, let me turn, uh, one of those um, toilet seats. So the first day I tried to use the toilet seat with the little handles on the side, that toilet seat uh, didn't fit in my butt. <laughs> and there was pee going everywhere. Uh, so uh, uh, what I got for uh, the toilet, that hole right here is way too small uh, for my butt, so it might be for yours as well. The height is okay, but it just caused a lot of problems. So what I did is I put this about halfway down from between my bed and the, in the bathroom because first few days I'm very lightheaded and I'd make the transition all the way down and then I could actually if I needed to I could sit down there and take a break real quick because uh, I thought I was going to pass out quite a few times so that really helped so use it to your advantage use it as a seat uh, right now my we bounced out of that option and we went to a, um, a walker a reverse walker on the toilet and I'll take you in there I'll show you that and then uh, just walk up with your walker and then go to the second walker. Uh, about walkers, uh, definitely you want to have a walker that has no wheels in the front and you know, it's, you know solid legs in the back or wheels in the front, and solid legs in the back, to where you can uh, support yourself. Uh, the first walker I have, the handles had little ribs in them and just beat my hands up. So I'm about two. Well, it's 238 pounds today uh, when I went into surgery. So it's a week out and I'm still about the same weight. So. Uh, I made it down to 225, and it's, my knees were just killing me. So I'm back up from down from 280 plus. So I uh, lost a lot of weight. Uh, so that's definitely helpful. So lose a lot of weight, get some upper body strength. I'm an avid kite surfer. I love to go, you know, in the ocean and, and lakes and surf and kite surf. That's my activity, and hopefully I can get back to that soon. But uh, hopefully your upper body, you know, strength is up there if you're doing bilateral. Uh, single knee, don't know, because it didn't do it. And uh, but bilateral can be done, and you can move around. So feel confident with that. Uh, back to the toilets. Uh, we'll take you in the house, and I'll show you kind of the setup that I have and the little bed setup that I have. Um, you can leave some comments in below if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. I'll try to put up a couple more uh, just in progress. Uh, the first first week, man, I was out of it. It was it was tough, uh, you know, to kind of get anything done myself. Um, I was doing a lot myself. You know, the biggest thing is trying to get your underwear back up on your on your feet, up on your butt when you uh, have to use the restroom. Uh, trying to use the grabby feely thing, you know, this little grabby feely thing here. Like I got these two of them from Costco. The, those are a lifesaver, and uh, that totally helps out a lot. So uh, keep them strategically placed because if you have, I put a little piece of Velcro on the end of it and I have a clip that goes on the walker little clip like this 
and I clip it in the clip and then Velcro it. And if you don't have a clip, you could probably just Velcro it both ways. And that way it keeps it close to you. But if you if it falls, you can't bend over to pick it up. So you need another one. You need two or three of them in the house to where you can, you know, you can get yourself up off the couch or the chair uh, if it's elevated and then you can move around. So if you can see behind me, we'll take a little stroll over there. I got the GoPro on the walker right now. So I'm gonna walk over there. I'll show you how I have the, the seat elevated. transition, step slowly and bend your knee. So move slow, bend your knee and uh, makes the transition really well. Um, kind of show you to uh, just take your time, uh, work with your physical therapist to uh, get those steps and stairs going, uh, helps out really well. Uh, due to COVID, there's a lot of uh, uh, gaps in my PT. So Trying to get, make sure I can do everything I can do, uh, what my surgeon told me and what I kind of helped with the people on the internet. So there's a great uh, forums on Facebook forums. Uh, there's some for knee replacement, uh, TKR, total knee replacement. And there's other ones for bilateral knee replacement. So you got bilateral, get on the bilateral page because some people have, uh, with single knee, some things are easier for you because you can use your other leg to help assist your bad leg. So. Uh, I don't have that option, I have to use a cane, and that uh, makes it a little tough. So let's go check out the uh, bathroom situation. All right, so this is how I have the bathroom set up. Uh, this worked out really well for me. Uh, got a little spot over here for toiletries. And then what we did is, this is the first walker I got. The handles over there are really uh, sharp, how to call it. But it's full race looking uh, walker. Just didn't work too well for me. It's kind of a little flimsy, but it worked out. Okay, without going through all the motions, uh, just kind of show you what I do is I have the walker back here. Um, I just kind of walk back to the uh, toilet seat and then lift the toilet seat. Now, this is a lot wider than the, uh, the other one. And I take my pants down and then push my uh, underwear down to the bottom. And then I literally, let me pull this back just a little bit. So since the walker's back here, I can just reach back and grab it. And then walk my feet out. And then sit on the toilet. Um, I usually try to take my underwear over and uh, to where it's a little wider. Uh, first few days, this is a little too wide or narrow for me. So I was able to lift this up and push it behind the toilet. And then I can spread my legs out and it's a lot more comfortable uh, to use the restroom. And then uh, before I go, it's a little tricky, but uh, put the walker back in place. And then, uh, Walk your feet back just a little bit uh, to where you have a little bit of a uh, grip. Uh, do your business, toilet paper, and uh, hand wipes, wet wipes, a must. All right. So then I just put my hands on the uh, on the walker and I walk myself backwards as I stand up and then lean forward and transition to the other walker. I uh, would not recommend a four-wheel walker at, well, at this point you can, but 
the other walker I'll show you to show you in just a few minutes uh, is the prime walker for this type of thing. It's a lot more stable and you'd be a lot more comfortable. Okay, so here's the, the walker. I got this a drive, a drive walker. There's a little button. There it is. This is a drive walker. I got this at Vons. Uh, but see these handles, the little ridges right here? They were not very uh, comfortable when I first started using it. Uh, the other walker, which we'll show you, were slippery. I need to put some little gaff tape or some like cloth tape on that and worked out really well. Okay, and in the morning, my ritual, I have kind of clothes set up here, underwear, change of clothes, uh, and then my shaving kind of stuff, uh, toothbrush, and this is a lifesaver right here. I think you can get these on Amazon. They're rich free uh, bath sponges. And basically, I can do all this myself. The first few days was a little tough, uh, except for my back. So they just, you just get these wet and they foam up and uh, just do your whole body. And then I just towel it off, but you don't really need to rinse. Uh, works out really well. So it takes me a little bit longer since I got a bald head. I usually shave my head as well and uh, makes it a little trickier. But uh, those little body wipes, scrub things there are a must. It uh, really helps you out and having everything in one location. Uh, it's super friendly, user friendly. All right, these little walkers here with the four wheels are great because they got a little cubby hole and you can stuff some junk in there. And you can also, if you have to, you can sit down real quick. Um, but these are for you know, a week out. Uh, don't try to do it first thing. You're going to hurt yourself. So you got to be real careful because your knees will buckle, and you got to have something to hold on to, even though you think you're doing good. Uh, they're trick knees still. So I'm making it down the hallway, and this is you typically about this far is where I put the uh, the toilet raised seat just for a a safety seat in case I needed to uh, take a quick rest. So here's the living room. Uh, I have the, the couch elevated, uh, nothing in the kind of general area, and that's kind of my area over there with the, the hard walker, that one works really well uh, for the majority of the day. And if you're trying to uh, <coughs> cruise around the four-wheel walker is good as soon as you get the stability. So I'll take you into the room, so everything's downstairs, I made it right in the front door and right over to the next room. Okay, so the uh, trapeze system kind of goes behind the bed. This definitely helps you get up and out of the bed. Uh, so uh, we do have pets and the dog likes to jump up on the bed and we had a baby gate up and he was able to get around that. So I put him a spot right there on the edge of the bed so he knows where his spot is. So I have a little tray here. My wife loads up uh, medicine for me. Uh, my pill is cut in half for the, for the evening and I have water, Gatorade, phone charger, uh, straw and get the twisty straws just to totally help you. And then that's the bucket from the toilet seat uh, I just used. And then I got a couple of those uh, pee cans. Uh, that helps me. So I just pull myself back up onto the, the wall, put a pillow behind my head, and then slide up. And I, I'm able to use the restroom. And then put it back in the bucket. And sometimes in the evening, some magical fairy comes and dumps those for me, which is great because I usually fill both of them up in the evening. And then off to the side, have another... Uh, water uh, thermometer um, oh and one pro tip if your doctor recommends it or lets you uh, Tylenol PM uh, take that early okay quick pro tip uh, Tylenol PM to get you to help start sleeping through the night uh, take I usually go to bed about 7 7 30 uh, and toss and turn till you know one and then I'm finally asleep uh, but it helps 100% helps especially after the first week um, Tylenol PM I take two of those um, about uh, six o'clock, seven, six to seven thirty, and then totally takes the edge off. Uh, helps you. I'm a side sleeper, but it's really tough with the, the knees. So uh, as soon as you can get the pillow under your legs and and help you sleep on the slide, it, it helps me. But uh, that hurts too. But it gives me an hour, hour and a half sleep. Then I'm able to roll back on my back and then uh, able to make the transition to uh, back sleep for a little while. You know, it's just a it's a battle. So, uh, you know, take your time, you'll get through it. Okay, so here's the standard walker. This one works really well. Uh, this is the drive uh, 102 10 1. 
has front wheels, no wheels in the back, uh, tennis balls or something to help it slide. I like the other walker because it had little uh, kind of slidey feet, which is great. And then off of that old other walker, I stole these little clips, put a piece of Velcro on the bottom of my grabby feely thing so I can pick things up and then just clip it back into place and then it this keeps it sturdy. So this style of cane here works really well. Okay, so basically I walk backwards uh, and the couch is elevated about three and a half inches, uh, brick height. And walk back to your legs touch and hold on to the hard part of the couch and then slowly transition back and then walk your feet out. Totally helpful. And then move your walker out of the way. And then I'm able to get my shoes on and off, but I'll uh, just slide on shoes. So I take the flat part of the cane here and hook my foot. And then make sure you get your foot straight, lock your knee, and then pull it up. And then do the same with the other. And then just work it side to side. And then you're good to go. Uh, it's a little tough, but you'll get through it. All right, All right down is just, just kind of in reverse. Then slide your foot over, keep it locked. And slowly uh, bend the knee. Uh, should make sure you do your exercise before you get out of bed. Uh, that way your knees are moving. Uh, that's totally helpful. Okay. Uh, this just helps because you can't slide anything and putting your knees at weird angles kind of hurts so uh, let's grab the back of the couch sit up and then transition over and you should be good so as you can see I got some nice little uh, bandages here uh, they've already changed them I had some uh, silicone bandages on which was really great uh, nice and waterproof for the first uh, week until they changed the cloth. That doesn't seem too bad. I got zippers, staple zippers, about 40 or 50 staples in each leg. Um, but hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, we'll get there. So just trying to get your legs around and do your thing it makes it tough. All right, so this is Mikey Mike. Make sure you leave some <laughs> comments down below. Uh, tell me your struggles and uh, maybe I can give you some tips or tricks on how I'm doing things. Uh, and it's a great sharing community. Uh, this Facebook page is great. Uh, don't forget there's two Facebook pages, one for bilateral uh, knee replacement, the double knees, and then there's one for, you know, your total TKR, total knee replacement. Uh, they'll go uh, L for left or R for right, uh, so you'll know, you know, what you're dealing with on uh, those type of things. So, um, hey, we've been doing this video for probably 20 minutes or so, and I'm moving along pretty good. Uh, it's again 12, 12 days post-op. Uh, moving around pretty good with doubles. Uh, uh, definitely the transitions are the toughest. So uh, hang in there, uh, pick, just take your pain meds. Uh, don't not take your pain meds. Uh, get off them when you, when you can, okay? So uh, yeah, drink lots of fluids, uh, take your vitamins, do all your stuff, and uh, you should be good to go. All right, so this is Mikey Mike. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button, and we'll go through, through this together, man. All right, peace.